We're going to be talking about light and, light and darkness here a little bit, some in the sermon. This is, you know, I've been quoting from a Walter Brueggemann book for years, the same book. I finally got a second Brueggemann book, so you'll get to hear some more from, from him. He's a UCC professor and minister. Walking by sight is an endless temptation for the church. It means to go by what we can see. And what we can see is that pro-death, anti-gospel power prevails everywhere in our world. In the time of Jesus, that power was embodied by Rome, which specialized not only in military domination, but also in economic exploitation. And the chance for the church countering that power was nil. In Exodus, the Hebrews can see the immense power of Pharaoh that had first enslaved and then pursued to kill them. Their chance against Pharaoh was remote. Against such a futile exercise as walking by sight, Paul urges gospel folk to walk by faith. That is, to trust what we cannot see. To trust the gospel is to bet on the hidden will and purpose of God that persists and that will come to a good outcome, an outcome vouched for by the resurrection of Jesus. Walking, living by such confidence permits us to run great risks, to hope great hopes, and to commit acts that are judged by what we can see as foolish. In our own time, the decision to depend on sight or faith is an immediate challenge to the church. When we walk by sight, we focus on members, dollars, measurable programs, and visible successes. Such a practice surely leads us to discouragement. Gospel faith, however, does not order its life by such sightings. Rather, gospel faith proceeds in confidence, knowing that the power of God is at work for life. This is a time then in the face of tough sightings to lift up our hearts to the Lord in confidence. As a result, we may run risks and not lose heart. Let us pray. God of deep resolve and hidden work, forgive our readiness to trust in what we can see, to obey what we see, to be intimidated by what we see. Give us faith to take a step and then another step. In his name, amen.